What's up guys? So as you guys know, over the past couple months, a lot of people have started trading smart money concepts and like it's been a big thing on TikTok. I know I have grown a lot on TikTok by talking about how I trade smart money concepts and how a lot of people are talking about, you know, like, oh, this is the new way to trade. But recently, a lot of people have been saying, oh, since everybody is trading smart money concepts, it's gonna get patched. It's going to, you know, like market's going to adapt to all these new smart money concept retail traders. And because of that, those people are now going to become liquidity. Come on guys. Smart money concepts is built based off of how price moves, how orders are filled within the market. So you're going to tell me that smart money concepts is going to get patched and it's not going to draw to those high, high confluence, high probability price ranges where big money orders are going to be filled. Where else are the orders going to get filled? Okay. Like I've been trading smart money concepts for the past, I don't even know, like three years now, ever since I discovered or pretty much saw on the chart, what I called the London session fake out, which at the time I didn't know it was a liquidity sweep. That's just what I called it. I called it a London session fake out because I knew every single London session on GBP JPY, London session would open and it would either spike super high to the upside and I would press sell or it would spike super low to the downside and I would press buy. And I had no clue why, but it worked. And then since then, I've obviously developed more and more and added on to that strategy. As you guys know, like I have my for like my Forex strategy and then I also have my S&P 500 strategy that pretty much play off of these concepts along with ICT who has the fucking order blocks, fair value gaps, equilibrium, that, respect to the boy, he created that, okay? But what you guys need to understand is smart money concepts will never go away because that's literally how market, the market moves. It needs liquidity to fill, to fill these large orders to make the market move, right? If liquidity gets taken out to the upside, then we get to see a break of structure to the downside and then we see price move. Right? Let's not even get into the executing. If we just think about, okay, how is market going to move? How is market able to move? And we're just thinking about logistically not even entering a trade. It has to take out liquidity. And this is like, this is why liquidity is the most important thing. Because if you take away liquidity sweeps and like, cause that's where orders get filled. Then you're left with like these ticky tack things like order blocks, fair value gaps, equilibrium, that sort of thing. And that's when we get into like, the execution standpoint of things, but just overall how the market moves and in order for orders to be filled, it fucking needs liquidity. So how on earth would liquidity sweeps get patched? Sure, maybe you can say different sorts of execution styles within smart money concepts could get patched, but the way that the market moves, that algorithm, it will never change. Okay, never ever. Also, there's something that ICT said, um, I forget when he said this, or I forget when he ever said this, but pretty much for every smart money concept trader, there's like five retail traders get born. If you look up on YouTube, like how to start day trading as a beginner, every single video is going to be support and resistance, support and resistance, Bollinger Band fucking indi indicators. You guys are just so used to seeing smart money concept shit because you're on that algorithm. You're on that TikTok algorithm. You're on that YouTube algorithm. And you're probably thinking, damn, everyone's trading this way. This is why I'm losing money. No, it's not. It's just because you don't know how to trade it yet. And you're in these markets for a month or two. And you're like, no, it got patched because I can't do it, bro. I've been doing this shit for five years now, three years profitably. Trust me, it still fucking works. Okay, you just need to fi fix your executions and this is where you can learn, okay? This is when the patched part of smart money concepts could come into play, okay? Let's think about it this way. I know recently, when was this? Like a month ago, I had one losing week. Everyone was on my head for it saying, hey, you fucking suck at trading. But what I did is I went over my executions for that losing week and I was like, what was making me lose? I was purely entering just off of a liquidity sweep break of structure. So what did I do? I adapted and from there I said, okay, I'm not going to enter purely just off of liquidity sweep break of structure. I need a third confirmation and I need everything to be in line with my daily bias. So I need 
Boom, daily bias, just be saying bullish. I need a liquidity sweep to the downside. I need a break of structure to the upside. And then on top of that, I need equilibrium to be filled, an order block to get tapped into, a fair value gap to get respected. One of those things to give me extra confirmation because that liquidity sweep break of structure wasn't working for me that past week. And then the following weeks, as you guys have seen, I've been going on a win streak. I haven't lost for the past two weeks now on my trades because I made that adjustment. So no, your strategy did not get patched. If you were profitable with your strategy before, it's your execution points, not the strategy as a whole. Okay, maybe your strategy is less profitable than other strategies, but again, it's a person to person thing. It's an opinion thing. I always say, choose the strategy that works for you, that makes sense in your head. If you don't know and understand why the market's moving and doing what it's doing, then why the fuck are you entering? That's pretty much a gamble, right? That's why I don't like trading support and resistance. That's why it doesn't work for me. I know it works for some other people, but I like to know why the market is moving in the direction that it is, not just saying, oh, it, it hit its head on a previous floor that got broke down and now it's coming back up and retesting it as a ceiling. What the fuck does that have to do with the market filling fucking orders? That sounds like a cartoon. You know, that's a, oh, we dropped down to the next floor and we're trying to get back up, but oh no, our head hit the top. So the only way for us to go is go down. That don't make no sense, bruh. I like to think, okay, why am I entering? I like to know exactly why I'm entering. Oh, liquidity was swept. Okay, then what? We have potential for market to move up or down, right? Depending on where liquidity was swept. We wait for confirmation, boom, break of structure. More confirmation that liquidity swept, that orders were filled, but wait, we're gonna hold off for a little bit. We need even more confirmation. We wait for price to retrace into a fair value gap and then give us a rejection showing, hey, okay, we're for sure good to go on this. Or I wait for order block to get filled, rejection saying, hey, we're good to go on this, that liquidity sweep, that break of structure is good or equilibrium to get hit and then a rejection off of it. That's my thought process when going into this stuff. So yes, you know, your strategy, your executions could get patched or could stop working in a certain period of time, but that's why you have to always be adapting and back testing and checking over your trades. That's why I do trade recaps. If I wasn't doing trade recaps on YouTube, I would be doing them by myself, but it's so much easier for me to just post the trade recap because I was going to do it anyways. I was going to look over, why did I win this trade? You know, what did I do good? Why did I lose this trade? What did I do bad? How can I improve? How did I win this trade? How could I have done better? How can I improve? I'm always looking to be improving my executions and my entries and understanding why I lost so I can grow from it. And you guys need to do the same. Stop thinking it's your strategy. Stop from jumping from this strategy to this strategy to this strategy because then you have information overload. You got way too many biases going through your head. Imagine if you learn five different strategies within the week, okay? And you're saying, okay, well, this strategy says it's going to go up, but then this strategy says it's going to go down, and this strategy doesn't even have an entry, and then this strategy says not to trade at all because it's consolidating. What the fuck should I do? See how that fucks with your head? Why not just, whoop, boom, wipe that shit clean, okay? We're done with all the crazy strategies, Find one strategy that makes sense to you, makes sense to why you're entering, and then nail down your execution points. The strategy is just the, the umbrella. Your executions are the little stems coming off of it. Nail and knock down your executions, okay? And then from there, you'll develop your own strategy. That's the best way to trade is to develop a way that works for you. Okay, maybe you guys like my Forex trading strategy, but there's one or two things that you make tweaks to. That's even better because you personalize it to yourself. Make it so you are learning within the markets. You are learning based off of what price gives you, not just learning purely from a little kid on behind the fucking screen and just copying, pasting every single thing that I do. Because guess what? What I do works best for me. What I do is different than what everybody else does. Yes, I trade smart money concepts, but I don't trade the exact same as ICT. Me and him take different trades every fucking day. I might take a trade to the upside while he takes a trade to the downside and both of us win. It's different ways of trading. So understand that those overarching umbrellas, those, those big strategies, most of them probably work. Support and resistance. I know a lot of profitable support and resistance traders. Was I profitable with it? Hell no. It didn't make sense to me. It didn't work. 
But that's why you need to learn your own execution points. Trading is a very, very personal game. And once you realize that it's personal and it's up to you to decide what works for you, what makes sense to you, what clicks in your head for you, that's when you will turn into a great trader. Okay? So that being said, I don't think SMC is patched. I don't think it will ever will get patched. I don't think any of these big strategies, support and resistance, whatever the fuck you want to say, will ever get patched because it's based purely off the trader who's trading it. It's based purely if, on if the trader can adapt to the new markets. Okay, so with that being said, I appreciate you guys. Much love. Hopefully you guys are loving these new informative educational YouTube videos. I've been trying to get these, get more of these out to you guys as time goes on. Much love. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.